Christmas to all of you. Hope you guys had an amazing day. Remember, okay, Christmas is not about how many presents you get. It's not about how expensive your presents were. Christmas is about going back to your hometown during the holidays and clapping the cheeks off of every single girl within a five mile radius that will respond to your what are you doing tonight text that you will inevitably be sending on Snapchat. Oh, it's, it's just, it's a law. It's a law of physics. January 9th, boys. That's how long you have. January 9th, they all go back to college. They all go, they're all going back to Auburn. They're all going back to Mississippi State. Uh, duh, duh. You have it till then. So you better lock in. What were we talking about? The Wheel of Mutt Christmas Special! This is the second episode of a brand new season of Wheel of Mutt, so let me get you all caught up to speed. In the season opener, we got a really lucky win, but a win nonetheless. I have nobody on my offensive line, but we did get Dak Prescott. We got an interesting running back duo of Devin Singletary and Najee Harris. We got a really mid Jerry Rice and Josh Oliver as a backup tight end slash fullback. Defensively, I prestige Ray Lewis. I got a little bit scared scared that Christian McCaffrey might snake Offensive Player of the Year. So I went Ray Lewis. We got an amazing budget beast in Luke Keekley. 20,000 coins gets Lurk Artist for one AP. We got limited Kyle Hamilton up at strong safety. I moved Derwin James to free safety. We got Christian Gonzalez at corner, Champ Bailey at corner, Adrian Phillips at corner. And Nick Bosa, let's talk about this. As you're watching this video, Ghosts of Mutt has dropped. I'm traveling back to Michigan for Christmas right now, so I'm not able to record this video when Ghost of Mutt dropped. So if Nick Bosa got a Ghost of Mutt card, you're gonna have to wait. And if he didn't, then this may literally be one of the worst prestiges ever. I just, I expect him to get a Ghost of Mutt present. It's been too long to not have a Nick Bosa. And in the season five season opener, we had to spin the team wheel to determine our team for the season. We got the San Francisco 49ers. Awesome team to get. I love their jerseys. I love their home stadium. And what I need to learn to love is 49ers playbook. I'm excited. We have Gun Debo Pack with two halfbacks in the backfield. That's awesome. We've got the slot wide receiver backfield package so I can put Jamar at running back. And then 49ers defense has even 6-1, which is a defense I love to run. And probably the best part, since you guys are watching this video on Christmas, you already know what my presents are. So as a recap, I've actually pulled two of whatever this present is. It might be Blitz players. I have one of this gold 3,500 snowflakes. I have no idea what this is. We've got a simple present, a simple present, a nice, probably legends present, a nice team of the week, a nice red, the simple blue, all of which I will get to open. But let's try to stay focused on the task at hand. And that's moving our record to 2-0. We're at 1-0 right now. And for the Christmas special, I made a Christmas special wheel. This wheel isn't absurdly overpowered, but it is catered to the Zero Chill program. So hopefully we'll get some awesome Christmas players today. I've got three wheel spins to build this team. Let's get after it, boys. There's even a spin on here that could give me lavish presents. I wouldn't even get to open them right now. Oh my god, am I gonna get it right now? Please. <laughs> Normally, I need to win the game, but this is basically a futures bet. I get to open two lavish presents, and no matter what, I keep them. The downside, of course, is these aren't going to open for me right now since it's not Christmas Day yet. So it's not going to help my team right now, but it is going to help us in the future. I'm so glad I got this one. I now have to come up with 6,600 snowflakes, though, and EA made this process Boring as shit. All right, boys, I guess I'll see you in fucking 30 minutes. Golly, I could have a kid in that time. Also, can we just talk about something, EA? Can we talk about a quality of life thing? Okay, I'm gonna buy Byron Young here, okay? And then you're gonna force me to wait for this lag, and then another lag, and then you show me my reward? Why the fuck are you, why even show me this screen? Just let me buy the dude and then piss off. I, kn I know I bought him. I clicked buy, and then I clicked confirm. Why you show me again? Now I gotta continue. Now I gotta wait for another lag. I, I... This is like, this is pretty high level whining. This is some beta cuck shit right now, actually. I'm not gonna lie, I'm being a little bitch. Here's the real reason I'm pissed about it though. I'm sure you guys saw my Christmas Eve pack opening yesterday where I collected an absurd amount of presents. Do you know how long it took me to spend 9 million coins on stocking stuffer players? Oh, oh, Zach Wilson snipe, shit. Dude, I lost my touch back in the Madden mobile days. I would have scooped that up. Oh, here we go, here we go. Snipe, snipe, 2000 coin discount. I'm him. I'm actually literally him. That is... Dude, that's not even fucking close. Are you kidding me?
All right, boys, our first wheel spin is two lavish presents that get to sit on unopened. The episode where I open all the presents will be on December 30th, just so you know. So you'll have one more episode where we don't know, and then it's go time. The random lavish present can be one of the special limited presents. Our first one is lavish. Ooh, ooh, I have, I have no idea what this one is, so I'm actually really excited to have this. So we have one new present, lavish red and burgundy, and our second mystery lavish present is... 1940 is it Ooh. Ooh. so this one's a team of the week present lavish so it's probably an 89 or 90 overall or better that's awesome so i now have all the lavish presents other than the limiteds am i forgetting one i am i'm forgetting the legends one i'm forgetting the legends one but hey look at this team of the week lavish red and burgundy lavish gold and then the probably blitz and then we got a few little mini guys here dude this is gonna be such a massive addition to this team oh i'm geek but for now it does absolutely nothing for my 82 overall so let's get into this second wheel spin and hopefully add to the squad right now let's get it boys Hopefully a zero chill player, maybe a choice or even, actually I would definitely take packs right now. Yes, sir. We get five zero chill packs. Unfortunately, as I record this, no limiteds in the stores, but zero chill packs can have the 93 overalls in them. So still tons of good stuff for us to pull. You get an 82 plus, an 86 plus, and 170 plus gold player. Five of these puppies. Let's find out, boys. Come on, baby. Start me out hot. That's funny, I already have Ed Oliver. That is a bummer. Ed Oliver, Andre Jones, and Christian, Christian Fulton. Actually, it doesn't help this team. Damn, this whole pack is a wash right here. Hopefully a little better luck on our second zero chill pack. Ebu Cam, does he? he is. He's better than Okoronko, so he'll start. We get Rookie Laporta, the dog, and Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore is 100% a starter on this team. That's good work right there. Dude, there's Corey Lindsley on the offensive line. There's Graham Glasgow on the offensive line. Both those guys be really good. Tajay Spears does not help us. Elijah Wilkinson, huge upgrade. That's big. I'll take 86 left guard. Get Abu Cam again, unfortunately. Third zero chill pack. I think this will be a big success if I get even 190 overall. We get Ed Oliver, Shy Tuttle, Cashman. Blake Cashman is a big upgrade too. Ed Oliver, unfortunately, is not. Here's our fourth zero chill pack. Come on, hey, a little Coralite Anthony Walker. I'll take that. Actually, pretty good pack-a-punch potential right there. He has that 90 overall with Lurk Artist. Anthony Walker into 86 Steven Nelson. We'll see if there's a spot for him. And then our final zero chill is Matt Breida. I know I'm not gonna use him. Unimpressive packs thus far. Servosha Dennis, who are you, buddy? Fifth and final, Michael Wilson. He will get to play on this lineup. Alexander Madison will not. Five zero chill packs later. We don't get anything crazy, but we will have some solid little upgrades to make. Let's start with Elijah Wilkinson on the offensive line. Beautiful. I'm going to pull Jerry Rice. I'm going to put an 86 overall Elijah Moore here. And at wide receiver three, we're going to get Cardinals Michael Wilson. Six foot two. Not very fast, but pretty big wide receiver. Definitely better than Silver Amonra. And then defensively, we've got some linebackers. We already got Luke Keekley, But right here, we can put Blake Cashman. Blake Cashman, 6'1", 84 speed, 88 experience. Excel. Not bad. Good play rec. Decent block shed. And he's a coverage linebacker, so that's what we want. At least, at least a run stopper. He's not a, an edge rusher. MLB 2 can be 80 overall Anthony Walker. Taking us up to an 85 overall team here. I'm gonna move Samson Ebukam to my right end, and I'm gonna move Agbania Okoronkwo to my backup D tackle. That is some tongue twisters. And honestly, just like that, my entire defense now has zero silver players in it, so that's really, really good. Obviously, a lot of these guys won't make the final lineup, but at least there's no Silver's left. I can't say the same thing for offense. My whole offensive line is pretty much still silvers. Doug Kramer is one bean burrito away from a silver. Uh, Jackson Kirkland, Colby Sorsdahl, and Ryan Hayes are silvers. And Wilkinson is just taking it all up front. All right, boys, the first two wheel spins. Set ourselves up for the future, build some holes. But at this point, I kind of want an absolute hitter. That's exactly what I'm looking for. 325,000 coins on one player, zero chill or Monday mix-up. So Monday mix-up, I don't think technically is supposed to be a Christmas promo, but since they dropped in December, they gave them all Christmas art. Dude, there's a 93 overall tight end Vita Vea. I just have no idea how I'd use him on this team because I already have Gronk. I get like, I could sub, I could put Vita Vea at fullback and then we could run I formation with Vita Vea. That is one thing I'll say about Niners playbook. Niners playbook does have I formation. So if I really wanted to, I could 
could pick up tight end Vita Vea, put him at fullback, and then as, as my backup. He has 91 speed. Oh my God. I don't know how you're going to convince me not to get this card. Okay, so if I went Monday mix up, my only options are Vita Vea, Bakhtiari, Keenan Allen, free safety. Pretty cool card, but I don't really know. I could pick up Josh Allen outside linebacker again. He is within the price range. This is probably the smartest pickup because this Josh Allen's actually fucking insanely good. But when when fat ass Vita Vea staring you right in the chest and you are, I, am I going to call myself a content creator if I don't buy this shit? All right, hold up. Let me look at the zero chill players. Well, before we go, getting crazy, we could get TJ Watt. We could get Jalen Hurts. We could get Shannon Sharp. All right, boys, I'm going to be honest. It's obvious what we need to do. I understand that Vita Vea would be really, really fun, but I want to win games. So I'm going to use my 325,000 coins. A 93 overall tight end Vita Vea. What do I look like? Actually, MMG, Josh Allen gets zero AP Lurk Artist, and Y was open at 15 minutes, and my mother's ass cheeks are open every night at 11 p.m. Yeah! I say jump, Vita Vea says how high. Vita Vea tight end. All right, this is this is a double up too, by the way. So Vita Vea is my backup tight end, and can we just talk about statistically, he's actually fucking kind of nasty. He's not like, you know, he's not 6'7". He's 6'4", which is still actually pretty damn good size. 91 speed, 90 string incredible catching stats 92 catch 89 catch in traffic and he blocks like a fucking maniac obviously because he's vita vea also i could hand the ball off to him as a fullback he's also a 94 overall at fullback and if i had to guess i'd say he gets some horse shit ability in that in that face slot like something stupid as shit but might be good oh my god i never thought about this edge protector on your tight end it's good but it's not what i was looking for i'm not going to use him in that way see i'd rather run tank on him but it's a waste of ap like, to activate unstoppable bruiser he needs two Two touchdowns? Are you kidding me? That's actually so aggressive. All right, we're running Vita Vea stock straight off the factory floor. What do you really need on this card? Probably nothing. Oh my God. You know what I just realized too? Can he come in and Debo package? He should be able to come in in certain packages where there's like gun slot close, where there's a fullback in the backfield. He should be in. We're going to find out boys. All right, yo, I've got a depleted offensive line, but I've got tight end Vita Vea and a dream. We added Michael Wilson, Elijah Moore, Elijah Wilkinson, Vita Vea tight end, Anthony Walker, Blake Cashman, Samson Ebukam, and two lavish unopened presents. The only thing left to do, of course, is to win the game. Let's see if Dak can lead us to a back-to-back -back here. And the Christmas challenge wheel. If I complete this challenge wheel, I can add another mystery present to our unopened. So we can have a lot. Ooh. Ooh, I do not like that. I I only don't like that because my quarterback is 91 overall team of the week, Dak Prescott. He's got Traveris Ward, Eric Berry, Arden Key. Home field advantage. It's a night game. You know what EA needs to do, bro? EA needs to actually put weather into mud. How sick would it be during December if every game was a snow game? Now listen, listen, listen. Before you go saying, no, I don't want my players to fumble, etc. Don't let it impact the players. Just because it's a snow game doesn't mean they have to add in, you know, increased fumble chance. It would just be cool if it looked like it was snowing, but it didn't impact the game, you know? Or like a rain game every once in a while. Add a little bit to the immersion. Throws to the boundary, wide open man. Got Will Levis. He's got angry runs Will Levis at quarterback. It's the first time I've seen it personally. He's got Derrick Henry in the backfield. We're gonna send some heat here. Looking for an avalanche hit. Avalanche hit! Oh no. I thought that was a fucking handoff. Now, Ed Oliver's gonna dive, miss! And Will Levis will pick up two yards, but hey, that was still a really good stop over Right into the seam. Nice play. AJ Brown snags it. He's kind of marching on the floor. Uh, let's go man coverage. Can we afford to do man coverage? Is this team good enough for that? Ooh, the right side looks open. Oh my god! I was about to say, I don't know if that's open. Well, we got two Lurk Artist linebackers in the middle. We got Keekly, we got Ray Lewis. He wants this. Ah! Oh, where are you going? Derwin, I'm not gonna pitch it. Oh, I wanna pitch it so bad. The pitches are so shit in this game. That might be my biggest complaint is that they nerfed pitches, dude. Vita Vea tight end is already in. Let's get the first pass of the game goes to Vita Vea tight end. Snagged. All right, boys, let's tinker. Let's tinker with this playbook. Do I have slot close? I do. Gun split close. I think that's Vita Vea in the backfield. Oh my God, it is, I think. Gun split close has Vita Vea lead blocking out of the backfield. Let's follow him. Great block. Great block, Vita! It wasn't the best block in the world, but it was still a good block. He, he took on a big-ass dude that Najee never would have taken on. Now it's third and three. I can put Vita Vea on routes here. Damn, I wish I had hot route master. Oh, Vita. Vita! No! Fourth and three offensive line fell apart. We shouldn't be too shocked. But I tell you what, man. I didn't get Vita Vea. 
Did not go for it on fourth and three. He's my lead blocker on this I form run. Let's go, Vita. Cut it up the. Maybe I should have gone to the edge. I might have cut that up a little too early. I shouldn't be trying to run it so much before I upgrade my O-line. He should probably throw this ball away. Second and 10, definitely a pass. He has nothing. Send in heat. Oh, I dare you. Third and 10, we are boxing him right now. Great defense. Sam Will, tried and true, all reliable. I just have to guard the halfback here. Oh, he blocks the halfback. That's no way. For me, it doesn't matter. Let's go, Blake Cashman. Takes him to fourth and 20, and I think out of field goal range. I'm going to open up this drive with a run behind Vita Vey. We're going to the edge this time. Vita Vey goes up the middle. I'm going to come out in the same formation now, and I'm going to send this one at the middle right behind Vita Vey. There goes Vita Vey. Getting to the second level. Singletary's out. Now, wait a minute. Now we know Huddle, but this time we're going jet sweep. Hopefully, he clogs the middle. Jamar Chase on the jet sweep, and what? Second and 11. Can I break this thing? Yes, I can. He breaks another. Vita. Fourth and inches. Holy shit. How the fuck did you turn that into that? That was unbelievable. He's in goal line. I don't give a fuck if this is goal line. I don't care who, what silvers I got. He made contact behind the line of scrimmage. I am not putting up no 40 bomb like this, though. Let's go play action and see if we can roll out. I got Ray Lewis blocking on the right side. All right. I don't ask those fucking questions, boys. Oh, look at Gronk. Oh, that was a dot. That was a fucking dot, Gronk. Run has been lethal. Oh, my goodness. Singletary. Debo's or Jamar's down there blocking. Singletary's having a hell of a game. Great block. Najee's in. Dude, that, that running back duo. Singletary and Najee. I've never really had two running backs. He's on the D-line. Najee barreling forward third and three. Now I'm going to no huddle and pass. This is bad. Oh, I'm going for it. I'm going to go for this. If he wants to march it out 96 yards, he can march it out 96 yards. Keep in mind, my challenge wheel is QBR. I don't know if this is man or zone. It isn't. Jamar! Let's go! I got to say, with the amount of running I did, there's no way he could expect what I was going to do. All right, I'm coming out and gun split close uh, for this two-point conversion. Dax QBR is still alive. Okay. Beautiful. Jamar Chase is catching tough balls right now. Oh. Derwin James. Go low. Go low on this big one. Second and three. Ooh, that was pretty good. Defense, honestly. I think he's back to passing here. He is. Pretending like I'm overrunning this. Oh, he's going with Will Levis. Huge hit and a fumble. So that ball dropped out of bounds. Does that make this the clock stop? I would love it if it did. Because I need some time on the clock. It does it. I see Reek. I see 81. Oh, my God. Nick Bosa. Coralie Nick Bosa against the double team. Oh my god, what a time! <laughs> Did that knock him out of field goal range? It didn't. All right, let's just conserve our timeouts. He'll probably use his whole clock. That's fine. Uh, we saved three timeouts to potentially get some more points up. He doesn't even use the whole clock. Eight to three, I love that. I don't remember if I start with ball or not, though. We honestly, we could run a pretty effective play action. With how much we've ran the ball, I think this could work. Look at that. Rob Gronkowski, it's a beautiful throw from Dak. He, Dak's 5 for 8, 53 yards and a touchdown. That's not going to be enough for a 140-plus QBR. We're going to have to throw a lot more pass. He just pulled off Singletary. That was his responsibility. But Singletary's not beefy enough to get through that. I'm going to go for the run here. I have timeouts. I just want to I just want to reset the downs. Get through. Damn. I don't have the air raid figured out with this team yet. Let's find a cool play. They got Gun Bunch Y Flex Vertical. Right now I have Vita Vea running the fucking dig. Oh my god. Why are you over there, Vita? He's not. Ooh, what a snag! If you want to see what I'm seeing, this isn't exactly high level, but his user has to decide. He has to decide Vita Vea or Gronk. I have a feeling he's gonna take Vita Vea, so we throw Gronk. He takes Vita Vea, we throw Gronk. Oh my god, and he's gonna fucking. <laughs> First and goal from the one. I want the QBR with that, but this is a free touchdown. Vita Vea. Anna, Anna, the punch. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Tight end Vita Vea owns your Bobbity franchise. 
That's a Christmas special, boys. Oh my god. All right, so just to be clear, Dak Prescott just went, uh, what was that? Eight for 11, 120 yards, two passing touchdowns in just the first half. Vita Vea just caught a passing touchdown. Holy shit, I love this game. All right, a few things to unpack here. Rage Quit Wheel, yes, we'll spin that. I'm also going to give myself an extra mystery present. I, it felt very clear to me that Dak was going to smack that challenge wheel. He did not give me the opportunity. So we're taking one more mystery present, baby, on the Christmas special, and it's a lavish. Dude, out of the four mystery presents we've done, we've gotten three fucking lavish. Woo. Okay. Okay, this is real. Holy shit. We are clapping right now. This is actually the one of the lavishes I don't have yet. I don't know what this one is. I assume a zero chill player. Boys, we are going to have a stacked lineup. We're going to have a dummy stacked lineup. Okay, you know what? That is a minor bump up. Last episode, it was 25k. This episode, it's 50k. I say we build offensive line. It's, it's very obvious that my offensive line is bad. I'm getting pressure every single time I drop back to pass. 50,000 coins on... Let's go a right tackle. Dak's right-handed. He'll scramble right more often. Let's grab a right tackle. You know, the market's market's a little sauced up right now, too. So I think uh, 50,000 coins on right tackle might actually get us a 90 overall. Hey, look at this. The return of a Detroit Lion. Panay Sewell was on a season. I actually don't remember when we had him, but we definitely had him. 88 overall Panay Sewell, just under 50,000 coins. He's got pretty well-rounded stats, but then he has 90 run blocking. He's a slightly better run blocker. I'm also learning more about this Niners playbook and i'm liking it got nasty defenses and it's got some fun offense right tackle let's stick my boy penny sewell in there 88 overall takes our team up to an 86 overall the final thing i'll say i can't promise that even next episode will have ghosts of mud i hope you had an amazing christmas this was an awesome christmas special i had so much fun recording this and uh shout out to the mvp tight end vita vea caught passes ran the ball blocked caught a touchdown forced a rage quit he did it all all right boys i love you guys thanks for watching as always and i'll see you guys in the next video peace